The black Catholic community has been a part of the fabric of New Orleans since its founding. Despite the horrors of slavery, the community grew, even when the Catholic leaders in the area failed to stand up for them. Many black Catholic leaders emerged through the years. One particularly strong leader was the Venerable Henriette de Lille, foundress of the Sisters of the Holy Family, the first New Orleans congregation for women of color. Henriette de Lille was born in New Orleans during the time of slavery. During that time, she wrote in her prayer book, I believe in God, I hope in God, I love, I want to live and die for God. Mother Henriette de Lille was born and raised in the French Quarter as a well-off Catholic, free woman of color. From a young age, her mother trained her in literature, music, dancing and nursing to attract a wealthy white man to marry, a common practice in the past. Because of her Catholic upbringing, however, she resisted that life. Henriette and her friends wanted to become religious, but at the time it was not legal for whites and blacks to live together. The church at first couldn't even feel like there was gonna be black people being religious. But then the bishop helped them out. In 1842, she founded the Sisters of the Holy Family. Henriette de Lille had a passion for the sick and the elderly. She began the old folks' home with four ladies that lived in the house with them. Today, we have La Fon Nursing Facility, which is now known as the oldest continuously Catholic operating nursing facility in the United States. When Henriette is canonized, she will be the first native-born African-American to become a saint. This is something that will really be great for the African-American community, that you would have this positive role model and someone that you know is up there that you can have praying for you and who would know the struggles that you would go through as an African-American person because she certainly went through many struggles simply because of the color of her skin. I've always understood uh, being an African-American female that I had two things that were a strike against me because of the fact that first I was a female and the second I was African-American. So you had to be greater than your counterpart, your Caucasian counterpart. The fact that she became a religious in the Catholic Church, it made me understand, it makes us understand that we are welcome in the Catholic Church and we can be a part of what they would call the hierarchy of the Catholic Church. I believe in God. I hope in God. I love. I want to live and die for God. Hey guys, I hope you learned something and enjoyed this documentary on Venerable Mother Henria de Lille and the Sisters of the Holy Family. But if you want to go deeper and learn more about black Catholic spirituality and my hometown of New Orleans, go right here, blackfaithmatters.com. Peace. <laughs>